Do you really think you have a chance against a Super Saiyan like me? Your brain must be malfunctioning. Fresh out of the factory with no warranty, and already broken. What a pity. <laughs> The Saiyan Prince Vegeta is famous for being merciless in combat, in addition to his extraordinary strength and persistent will to outdo his opponents. Vegeta has degraded countless opponents during the Dragon Ball series, frequently playing with them before delivering them a humiliating loss. His urge to establish supremacy is fueled by his pride as a Saiyan warrior, and he rarely passes up the chance to ridicule or poke fun of others he believes to be weaker. Vegeta frequently ensures that his opponents are aware of their inferiority before he defeats them, whether through ruthless finishing maneuvers, intimidating strength demonstrations, or icy taunting. Vegeta's character is characterized by these instances of humiliation, which highlight his fierceness and enduring pride in his ancestry. Vegeta, known for his pride and brutal strength, has had numerous moments where he absolutely humiliated his opponents in Dragon Ball. Here are 10 of his most savage and memorable moments. And number 10, Vegeta unalives Nappa. Vegeta humiliates Nappa after Goku defeats him. Vegeta shows no sympathy for Nappa's weakness, mocking him as a failed warrior. After Nappa struggles to stand, Vegeta coldly orders him to get up and fight. Despite Nappa's injuries, when Nappa begs for help, Vegeta reveals his contempt by claiming Nappa is useless and weak. He then delivers a final blow without hesitation, erasing Nappa's life with a brutal energy blast. This act of execution is devoid of emotion, demonstrating Vegeta's lack of mercy for someone who no longer serves a purpose. The humiliation is complete, as Nappa, once Vegeta's ally, is discarded as an expendable tool. At number 9, Vegeta erases Pui Pui. Inside Babidi's spaceship, Vegeta begins to fight Pui Pui and says that he's no match for him. But Pui Pui thinks he's just bluffing. He throws a kick and Vegeta blocks it. Pui Pui begins punching at him, but Vegeta dodges. Babidi then changes the room into Zoom, Pui Pui's home planet. It has 10 times the gravity of Earth. Not knowing that Vegeta is used to 450 times the gravity, Pui Pui claims that this will give him an advantage. Vegeta says that Pui Pui would have an advantage if the room were at 500 times gravity, but says that at only 10 times gravity, he can't even feel the difference. When Pui Pui rushes toward him, Vegeta kicks him away. He rushes again at Vegeta, but Vegeta moves away, stunned. Pui Pui looks behind him. Vegeta asks if Pui Pui still thinks he is bluffing and obliterates him with his double Gallic cannon. The door to the next stage opens. At number 8, Vegeta's revenge on Zarbon. After losing to Zarbon once, the Saiyan Prince comes back for revenge. In this intense battle, Vegeta taunts Zarbon, daring him to attack and calling him ugly, which enrages Zarbon. Zarbon launches a series of kicks at Vegeta, but Vegeta dodges and counters with blasts. When Zarbon realizes he's outmatched, he transforms into his beastly form, but Vegeta remains unfazed. During the fight, Vegeta uses dirt to blind Zarbon and gains the upper hand. Zarbon, furious and battle-damaged, charges at Vegeta again, but Vegeta mocks him, stating that Saiyans grow stronger after each battle. As Zarbon attacks, Vegeta overpowers him, relentlessly punching him before slamming his fist through Zarbon's stomach. Zarbon begs for mercy, offering to team up against Frieza, but Vegeta coldly refuses. He blasts through Zarbon's stomach, sending him flying into the air before he falls into the water lifeless. At number 7, Vegeta smashing Semi-Perfect Cell. In this intense battle, Vegeta completely dominates Semi-Perfect Cell after achieving his Super Vegeta form. After punching Vegeta in the gut, Vegeta continues to toy with him, swinging him into an island and effortlessly overpowering him. Despite Cell powering up and landing a punch, Vegeta is unscathed and laughs at Cell, and mocks him for his weakness. Vegeta even turns his back on Cell, taunting him and sarcastically claiming his power came from doing lots of sit-ups, push-ups, and drinking plenty of juice. Angered, Cell tries using Vegeta's own Gallic gun attack, but Vegeta remains unharmed. Frustrated and humiliated, Cell sneaks up on Vegeta and attempts to use his tail. But Vegeta easily counters, trapping Cell's tail and delivering a powerful elbow to his stomach. 
Vegeta tricks Cell and finishes him by blasting him with an atomic blast underwater. Later, Vegeta taunts Cell again, explaining that his son, Future Trunks, is nearly as strong as him. Semi-perfect Cell, desperate, tries to convince Vegeta to let him absorb Android 18 to complete his evolution. Intrigued by the challenge, Vegeta ultimately decides to allow Cell to pursue his perfect form, craving a stronger opponent to test his powers. Vegeta makes his decision, allowing Cell to go and absorb Android 18 so he can grow stronger instead of being so pitiful. Number 6. Vegeta Crushes Android 19 Vegeta humiliates Android 19 during their battle after unveiling his Super Saiyan form for the first time. Following Goku's defeat by Android 19 due to a heart virus, Vegeta steps in and effortlessly dominates the fight with his newfound power. Vegeta's superiority is evident from the start as Android 19's attacks are completely ineffective against him, leaving the android visibly shaken and desperate. Throughout the fight, Vegeta mocks Android 19, calling him a fat piece of junk and taunting him for attempting to absorb his energy. When Android 19 tries to grab Vegeta's arm to drain his energy, Vegeta laughs, effortlessly overpowers the android and demonstrates that his energy is far superior. Vegeta then takes his time with Android 19, toying with him before finishing the fight in a brutal manner. He rips Android 19's hands, rendering him helpless and delivers a final blow with his Big Bang attack, vaporizing the android completely. This battle highlights Vegeta's merciless nature and pride as a Saiyan as he humiliates Android 19 both physically and emotionally before delivering the decisive blow. At number 5, Vegeta destroys Topo. Vegeta humiliates Topo during their fight, despite Topo being a powerful god of destruction candidate. From the beginning, Vegeta mocks Topo's pride and self-righteousness, belittling his reliance on destruction and calling out his sense of superiority. As the fight progresses, Vegeta refuses to back down, even when Topo unleashes his God of Destruction powers. Vegeta counters Topo's attacks with his own fierce determination, overpowering him despite Topo's strength. Vegeta taunts Topo relentlessly, showing that his own pride and will to win surpass Topo's reliance on destructive energy. When Topo launches his most powerful attack, Vegeta responds with his final flash, knocking Topo out of the arena. This defeat highlights the difference in their fighting philosophies, with Vegeta's pride and resolve proving superior. By the end, Vegeta humiliates Topo, demonstrating that strength comes from determination, not just destruction. Number 4. Vegeta vs. Mageta In the Tournament of Destroyers, Vegeta humiliates Mageta, the robotic fighter from Universe 6. By effortlessly overpowering him and exploiting his weakness, Mageta then tries to use his heated breath and powerful metallic body to gain the upper hand, but Vegeta mocks his every move, taunting him for his lack of real combat destruction. Throughout the fight, Vegeta remains calm and confident, mocking Mageta's attempts to intimidate him, which frustrates his opponent. As the battle progresses, Vegeta's relentless taunting causes Mageta to lose his composure, further exposing his mental weakness. Vegeta capitalizes on this and crushes Mageta's spirit, easily overpowering him. After Mageta is defeated, Vegeta declares that his victory was inevitable, highlighting how outclassed Mageta was from the start. Vegeta's superiority in both physical strength and mental composure makes the entire fight a humiliating experience for Mageta, showcasing Vegeta's dominance. Number 3. Beating Kaba Vegeta humiliates Kaba, the young Saiyan from Universe 6, by showcasing his overwhelming strength and experience. Vegeta mocks Kaba for his inexperience, calling him weak and comparing him to a child. When Kaba struggles to transform into a Super Saiyan, Vegeta taunts him for not meeting the expectations of a true Saiyan warrior. Despite Kaba's attempts to fight back, Vegeta dominates the match effortlessly. As the fight progresses, Vegeta pushes Kaba to unleash his Super Saiyan form, only to overpower him with ease. He mocks Kaba's ideals of protecting others, calling them a weakness. After defeating him, Vegeta leaves Kaba humiliated but also delivers a harsh lesson in Saiyan pride, teaching him what it truly means to be a Saiyan warrior. Number 2. Vegeta Toys with Frost In the Tournament of Destroyers, Vegeta humiliates Frost, the fighter from Universe 6, by exposing his dishonesty and easily overpowering him. Frost initially presents himself as a noble warrior, but Vegeta quickly sees through his deception, where Frost attempts to cheat by using a poison needle. 
Vegeta calls him out, mocking his attempt to deceive and revealing Frost as a fraud in front of the audience. As the fight progresses, Vegeta toys with Frost, effortlessly dodging his attacks and landing blows with ease. He mocks Frost's weakness, calling him a cheater and further belittling him. In the final moments, Vegeta defeats Frost with a simple punch, disarming him and knocking him out of the ring. The fight showcases Vegeta's superior strength, strategy and pride, completely humiliating Frost and revealing his true dishonorable nature. Number 1. Vegeta vs. Golden Frieza Vegeta is given the opportunity for some revenge on Frieza after the humiliation Vegeta suffered on Namek. Vegeta proceeds to fight Frieza in Goku's place and to everyone's surprise turns into the blue-haired Super Saiyan form. Vegeta then proclaims that he will send Frieza back to hell and easily dominates over the exhausted golden Frieza until he reverts into his final form. He was about to destroy Frieza with a point-blank range Big Bang attack until, left with no choice, Frieza uses his final attempt of counter-attack, declaring that it is not him but everyone on Earth is going to hell to shred the earth to oblivion, and that, in turn, destroys Vegeta and, in a dramatic way, everyone else on the planet. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you next time on DB Shuffle.